Greetings. Hey, TNT. This is Denise Jackson just checking with in with you to uh, see how you all are doing and to let you know what I've been doing uh, during this almost two months of uh, shelter in place for uh, most of us throughout the country. Um, first of all, I just want to say that I'm grateful. I'm grateful to the Lord that I am healthy. I'm grateful to the Lord that I am safe as well because this has been uh, a period of time unlike anything I've ever seen in my lifetime. And um, I, like I said, I thank God every day uh, for blessing me because uh, so many, um, just hundreds of thousands of people have been impacted by this coronavirus. And um, it has uh, just shown me how much we have to pray for one another and to be compassionate and, and considerate and uh, helpful to one another because we just don't know when we are going to be in need of someone else's help. So uh, it has just made me that much more sensitive. And so I'm grateful to the Lord. And um, matter of fact, I have um, used this time probably to study, spend more time than I've ever had studying scripture uh, praying a lot. Uh, I begin my day praying with a sister who calls me from California, and we pray for everybody. Uh, we pray for health care workers who have to go to work every day, uh, families of individuals who passed on from this. Uh, we pray for people who work at the grocery store. You know, we have to go to the grocery store and buy groceries. So we pray for their safety. You know, we pray for the Lord, that the Lord would just put a, 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 a just an entire covering over folks who have to go out and do their jobs daily and uh, run the risk of, of, of something, getting sick or something. So we're, we, I'm just mindful of the need to be prayerful. Uh, so um, even though I haven't been able to come to Awana or go to St. Paul, uh, as I said, I still continue to have church. You know why? Because we are the church. We, people, members, individuals, you and I, we are the church. And we can worship the Lord whether we're able to go in the building or not. And I'm grateful to the Lord for that. So um, one other thing I've been happy about, connecting with my St. Paul family via technology, uh, I have been blessed to watch the services on Sundays, and thank you, St. Paul. Thank you, Pastor Hubbard. Thank you, the praise team. It has allowed me to connect and be blessed at the same time. So I'm grateful for that. I'm also grateful for the opportunity to get a paycheck. You know, I, I heard yesterday, I think they said something like 26 million, million people had to file for unemployment benefits. So I'm grateful that I've been able to get a paycheck even though I haven't been going to work a whole lot, uh, but I've still gotten a paycheck every two weeks. That has enabled me to pay my tithes, to pay my bills, and to be a blessing to others. So I'm grateful to God for that. I have many favorite scriptures, um, but one that I often um, am reminded of, especially during times like this, uh, is it comes from Philippians chapter four, uh, verses six and seven, and it says, do not be anxious uh, for anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, um, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God and the peace of God, the peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged by that scripture. And TNT, I want you to be encouraged too, because even though you might not be able to go outside or go over your friend's house or go to school, huh? <laughs> which I'm sure some of you really do miss, um, be encouraged because this too shall pass. Uh, and um, so be encouraged uh, because within a matter of probably less than a few weeks, we will be back to maybe going back outside, uh, hopefully at some point, uh, getting back on with a little bit of the routine in our lives. So I don't know if that means we'll get back to Awana before the end of school, which is May 22nd, but if we don't get back to Awana, TNT, just be uh, assured that I look forward to seeing your smiling, happy faces at Sunday service coming up real soon. So 
In the meantime, uh, keep the faith, uh, stay healthy, and stay safe. God bless you.